John, thanks for joining us. Uh, we know it's been a long day for you. You were up early uh, to see Brittany Reese, a former Ole Miss standout, uh, compete in the long jump. Uh, watch that via the internet uh, here in the journal offices. And if you could tell us a little bit about her performance and, and what happened this morning. Well, I think the first thing, if uh, don't want to spoil it for anybody, so if you don't know what happened, you might want to quit watching now. But if you, uh, if uh, we can go from there, uh, she finished fifth, and uh, I think it would surely be a disappointment for her after the preliminaries where she had the best jump. But on the other hand, clearly conditions had changed, and uh, I think she. Uh, did not feel good today. There's something about it. And I haven't seen enough quotes, enough answers about this, but there was something about the track or something about the board that was, was bugging her because I, I saw a quote uh, where she said after the second jump uh, she knew it was not going to be her day. So uh, she gamely soldiered on and uh, Basically, the way it worked, uh, I think four of the five best jumps of the day were all jumped in the first round. There were 12 competitors, and uh, she jumped second uh, right out of the gate and uh, pretty quickly fell down to sixth place uh, after the first round. She came back and had a decent jump in the second round, and she moved up to fifth, but after that just couldn't, uh, couldn't get anything else going. Uh, she has not been able to get past that 23 foot mark, basically seven meters. Uh, just has not been able to crack that yet in her career. And the Brazilian who won uh, did get just a little past seven meters. So uh, 21 years old uh, is Brittany Reese. Uh, she was eighth in the world last year at the World Championships and now fifth in the Olympic Games. I think it's a, it's a good representation of the progress that she's been able to make. Now she can focus full time. I know she's going to go back to school now and finish up school uh, in, the, in the, the, the winter, but then she can concentrate full time on her jumping and her form and her fundamentals and, and the coaching that she can get. And uh, I'm, I, I, we have not heard the last of her. I would say uh, that she certainly sent a sign that she is to be contended with in 2012 when the games will be in London and maybe track and field will be a live event and people can see it <laughs> without having to watch it on the internet or wait till, uh, wait till prime time when it's a 12 hour old event. <laughs> well, uh, talk about uh, the Olympics are kind of wrapping up. Uh, uh, any thoughts uh, overall about the game so far uh, that strike? Well, I, China's home advantage obviously has come into play. They're, they're giving a very spirited race for the overall medal lead with, with the United States. And the U.S. has, has had some, some bad breaks over the last couple of days. The, the two dropped batons in the 4x100 meter relays for men and women. It's unprecedented in the, in the United States track and field history. Uh, there's some events where clearly the United States just isn't what they once were. Diving is a good example of that. Boxing, I mean, shocking how, uh, how little representation there is in boxing at this point. Uh, you know, but they've done well in other things. I think it's going to go down as a good Olympics. I think it's going to go down as a fantastic Olympics for the Chinese. And I think there's some question as to what happened to some other teams that you would have thought would have done better. I mean, some of our old friends, the Germans and the French and the Koreans are in there, but the, the Russians have not performed as well as one might have thought, and the Canadians have done poorly again. And uh, uh, obviously the big events of the weekend will be the best things like basketball and, and some, some of the wrap-up of track and field. And, uh, it, it looks like you could have a double gold medals in basketball and that would be fantastic uh, and would make up a little bit maybe <laughs> for the memory of seeing the softball team get beat. But actually, in the larger sense of the sport, it was good for the softball team to get beat because it's Exhibit A that the world is catching up in softball just like they have in some other sports. So one of the reasons that softball won't be uh, a, an official event in 2012 was this idea that, well, the United States is good at it, but nobody else is. Uh, 
I think uh, this clearly indicates that people are starting to catch up, and that's that's good in the overall scheme of things. Well, very good. Well, thanks again. We'll have a big wrap-up show Monday, and appreciate you joining us. I'm going to dig around a box, try to find one of my Atlanta Olympic shirts to wear, so that'll be a treat. Everybody have a great weekend.